Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion slash speculation and theory video. I am once again joined by the one, the only, the other half of the dynamic duo, MJ from MJTV. MJ, how are you, man? Say hello to everyone listening. Hello. This guy. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, uh, so we're going to be talking about the preview from episode 108 of Dragon Ball Super, and we got something really awesome in that preview that we're going to be speculating on. Basically, theories, my thoughts, uh, MJ's thoughts, and obviously not just us, but also your guys' thoughts in the comment section below, what you think is actually going on here. But we got an image of what it really looks like is Gohan is fighting Frieza for some reason. And look, these guys are on the same team. What on earth is going on in this particular shot that we're seeing in the preview? And look, before we get into this, MJ, I just want to share this. You and I have talked about this before, both on, chan on our channels, off uh, recordings and all this other stuff. They put certain scenes and certain placement of these scenes to hype up the, the episode that don't necessarily pan out. So this is what I'm thinking, and I don't necessarily know your thoughts, but this is not something that's really going to be playing out in any epic way. Like, I don't think we're going to get an all-out fight between Frieza and Gohan, and something else is at play here. But what are your thoughts on that? No, I completely agree. They do that. They change around the preview. An example of this is the next episode preview for Dragon Ball Super Episode 50. In that preview, we see uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus uh, Black, and then they're throwing hands, and then the last image is Goku inside that crater, and everyone was like, oh my god, Black stronger than God Goku, <laughs> Black, you know, Black beat up Goku, but then once the episode aired, in fact, that crater spot is in the beginning of the episode when Goku was in his base form, and then Goku goes Super Saiyan, and then he fights, and then Goku doesn't even use any God form, so uh, that they do that, they mess with you, they throw those images in there to kind of just mess with you, they don't actually correlate, they're not panning out, you know, just because the ending uh, image of the preview, that doesn't necessarily mean that's one of the ending shots of the episode. You know, just wanted to point that out. So I do get your point there. Just because we're seeing him and Gohan, I guess, scrap a little bit. I don't think that's going to be a big part of this episode. In fact, if I rem should, can I talk about spoilers or no? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we're going to be talking about spoilers now. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I want everyone to go down to the comment section below. Pause it first because you don't want to be spoiled. But go down to the comment section below and share your thoughts and opinions on why we see Gohan punching Frieza in the preview and then come back to the video once you either see the episode or something else like that. Just we're getting into spoilers now. So, man, go ahead. If I remember correctly, I covered the spoilers on my channel that is live on the MJTV channel. And I talked about uh, I believe it mentioned that Jamise is going to be fighting Gohan in this episode. And Jamise or Jamize, whatever you want to call him, he's actually the Yardradian from Universe 2. That's very interesting to me. I don't know how big of a focus that's going to be because there's a lot of stuff going on in episode 108 because this is the episode before the special, I believe, the two, uh, the one-hour special. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Remember, we still have the whole Goku versus Rubrian stuff that was teased. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in this episode. So I do feel like Frieza versus Gohan is not going to be a big part. I feel like what's going to happen is Gohan's going to find himself in a tough fight against Universe 2 and a little bit of Universe 6 with Frost, and then Frieza, of course, will show up, but I don't think it's necessarily going to be mano y mano, Frieza versus Ultimate Gohan all the way through. You know, it's not going to be the main focus of the episode. Yeah, like, the one thing it looks like, at least from what I'm looking at from the preview, is, like you said, he's going to be fighting the Yardradian. Maybe... He's going up for the punch for that guy, and Frieza just gets in his way, and we get like a hit. We get like a square on punch from Frieza. And of course, like Frieza's not even in his golden form. It's going to probably be like a laughing moment where Frieza's just like, oh man, if, if that's all you got, then you, you ain't nothing. And, like, and, and then he's just like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And we do see him basically walking away from Frost, maybe Frost. Like, a lot of people speculated that maybe they're working together. We're not necessarily sure. From episode 107, it doesn't necessarily look that way, considering the fact that it looks like Frost has his own ideas of how he wants to take down Universe 7. And having Frieza help him with that, even though Frieza might get erased, is, I don't know, it's up in the air as to whether or not that's actually going to happen. But maybe 
Frieza will actually take over fighting the Ardradian. Uh, I think that would actually be pretty cool because Gohan can't necessarily handle it and he's able to use the instant transmission to trick Gohan into actually punching Frieza. That's one theory that could be going on here. Another thing is, like I said, maybe Frieza just doesn't want Gohan if Gohan is actually fighting Frost or someone in this episode because we don't necessarily know how it's going to play out. Maybe Frieza stops him. Is like, look, I'll take care of him, and then Gohan just goes away, and that's when we get to our little go, our Frieza versus Frost, or they're talking, and he walks away, and then Frost is going to betray Frieza, and then Frieza kind of turns around and takes out Frost. Those are those are just two general theories that we could see here. It's interesting because people have talked about it. Who will betray who? Will it be Frieza or Frost? And what's interesting to me is it's really hard to say. I would actually want to say Frieza, but at the same time, we see more loyalty from Frieza to a degree than Frost. With Frost... You know, we saw him in, what, episode 32, that's when he made his debut in the anime, and then he was a con artist, you know, and then he got exposed, and uh, he, then he, I, did he really have a great relationship with Kaba? We don't really know, I mean, it's almost hinted at that they fought on the, on the battlefields together, but it's never really hinted that they're, like, father and son, or, like, brother and brother, you know? It's, like, never really hinted at that, whereas uh, Frieza, he did seem to have some sort of uh, relationship with uh, Vegeta, and then you go and look at the Genji Force, he did have some sort of loyalty there, even though he could have, you know, became a hothead at any second and killed any of them if they messed up, but... It's like, he did seem to have some loyalty there, you know what I mean? At least it was hinted at, you know? The Dorian Zarbon worked, him for, worked for him for years, you know? So it's like, who would really betray who in this instant, you know? I know I'm getting a bit off topic here because we're supposed to be talking about Gohan and Frieza, but it's like, who would really betray who? And I think it's a bit hard to say, but if I had to put money on it, uh, Mark, I would actually say Frost, because I think that's a bit unpredictable. I think Frost would be the one to betray him if that were to happen in this next episode. Because the point here that I'm getting at is if the episode 109 and 110 is supposed to focus about this quote-unquote terrible thing that's going to happen or the quote-unquote epic Goku versus Jiren, maybe they're trying to get all these loose ends done, you know? the Yardradian and then the Frieza and Frost stuff you know what I mean like mm -hmm. I don't know what your, what your thoughts are man I, I I understand where you're coming from there. I I honestly think it would probably be Frieza I've argued that on my channel before that it could potentially be Frieza kind of manipulating Frost but at the same time it's really hard to determine what is going on there considering the fact that they played up Frost and what he's planning or how he's planning on doing something very heavily in the last episode and it makes me wonder just like how manipulative is frost actually being in here and then like we already said they already take certain things from the tr the episode and put it in these previews just to kind of mess with our heads and we do get to see that shot at the very end of the preview where frost is powering up a, a beam as at least it looks like in the shot frieza is walking away from him so we don't know who is going to betray who? Of course, we do know that Frieza is still hiding his golden form. And as I've talked about on this channel before, it would be pretty awesome to see Frieza rip out that golden form as soon as uh, Frost decides to either turn his back on him or something else like that. You know, you think you have me under under your belt or under your, your foot. Well, you don't even understand what true power is. And then there's like, oh no, like an awesome Frieza moment. <laughs> like, that would be really cool in my opinion. But yeah, like you're right. I don't know. And... The one thing is, although it would be cool to see Gohan versus Frieza in this, because one of the things we've never really gotten to see is a legitimate Gohan versus Frieza fight in any of the source material from Dragon Ball. We got the scene from movie 12, the Fusion Reborn movie, but that was kind of a one punch and done. We got kind of the opposite of that scene in the Fukatsu no F arc and also in the movie, but... We've never actually got to see them fight mano y mano, but with the way that this show is building itself up, with the way this tournament is laid out, it makes very little sense that they would actually start fighting each other unless, and this is a weird, crazy theory, I want your thoughts on it, what if Zeno, a lot of people have been talking about this, and we already said spoiler warning, so a lot of people are talking about this, and you said yourself, something really dangerous is going to happen here, something really dangerous. Could it be? Probably not in this episode. It'd be weird for it to happen in this episode and not the the uh, the uh, special. Special. Yeah. But if this is something that helps the special go forward, 
what if Zeno gets mad or something like that? Look, there's only like 35 people left on the ring, maybe a little less. What if Zeno decides free for all? Ah, ah, yeah. And then free for all, and then Frieza is just another person that they have to fight, and potentially we get a Frieza versus Gohan fight. And then Goku, if Gohan loses to Frieza or gets hurt by Frieza really badly, then maybe Goku has motivation to transform and fight. Okay, I, I see your, that that would actually be kind of cool. Like, I can just imagine, you know, like, the Zenos is kind of getting bored of this and the teamwork aspect, and then the Grand Prix stops the fight, get this epic, like, scene with all the fighters kind of, like, battle, battle-hardened and, you know, scarred up, and then he's like, the rules are last man standing. That would be dope. Oh, man, I would love that. Add killing to the mix. Why not, right? <laughs> just throw, throw that out there. Let's just get a full-on rumble, last man standing. I would love that. That's actually a great theory. That's uh, kind of like an even bigger twist on the whole will Zeno allow killing because he is Zeno. He can change the rules when he wants. It's within his character. You know what I mean? He gets bored. He wants to see stuff. And it, in a way, now that you mention this, Mark, it was kind of hinted at uh, this during the last episode Remember Frost, when he punches Roshi, and I made this a point in my review because this is a very little overlooked line, and I feel like the line would get overlooked, and that is when Frost hits Roshi, he uh, recites, it's so troublesome trying to hold back my punches so I don't kill anyone. That's what all these fighters are doing because if people want to know what an unrestrained punch looks like, go back to the Cell arc and look at when Gohan punched the Cell Juniors. There was organs flying everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's an unrestrained, full power punch. These guys, they're having to hold back their power so they don't hurt the weaker characters. You know what I mean? And I think that's really cool, too, to add on to the whole Last Man Standing aspect is that Zeno and them catch on to that, or the Grand Prix catches on to that, and they say, let's make it a bit more fun, and let's act killing to the mix. You know, let's make this a Last Man Standing. And that's where it becomes free for all. And it's like, it doesn't matter that, um, if Universe 7 has the most people, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if Universe 6 has the most people. Now it's fight until you're the last one on the platform. See, that would be cool. See, the thing is, and it would be really interesting, and I would say, yeah, that's not just the one thing that has been slightly overlooked from the last couple episodes. There was a line, I don't necessarily remember if it was from episode 107 or 106, but the Zenos are sitting there talking about, and they're before they start wondering how many people are left, they're like, nothing is happening. Like, they have this huge ring that people are now hiding and kind of just not necessarily making a, a show of themselves. You have basically the entire Universe 11 team that's left basically standing on the sidelines, making a point to stand on the sidelines. And at the same time, you have Vegeta maybe sitting around doing this one thing. Frost has been hiding this entire time besides this. We don't know where anyone else is doing. Maybe the way they're handling these episodes was a really cool subtle nudge in the right direction of look this is how we're going to this is how it's going to occur because i've told you this before although we only have 48 minutes and even though that is a huge fighting time for any of the fights that we've ever seen in dragon ball most fights do not last that long besides i mean maybe the uh the jackie chun goku fight in the uh, 21st tournament was hours long one of the things they're doing and making a point every single episode to tell us is there's this many minutes left. There's this many minutes left. And it's basically, what, two, three minutes an episode. But we only see in that time stretch maybe one or two fights going on between the entire Roshi episode where Roshi's fighting and Goku is being held back or Vegeta's doing this or they're checking out for a sniper. That entire episode. Think about it this way. That's the only thing of importance going on in those two minutes now. This tournament started off with explosions and everyone fighting everyone, but now, and like there was so much going on, there's no way to actually focus on it, but now there's not a lot going on and everyone's either really tired, resting, or something. And as Shampa said in the last episode, the only important thing now is to have everybody. Like, to have the most people on the ring as possible. Even all of the gods of destruction themselves are talking about, well, we don't have the numbers, but we have the strength. Oh, we have the numbers, or something like that. Maybe Zeno gets really mad about this and be like, you know, I don't care anymore. Numbers don't matter. You literally have to have the last man standing be from your universe, or you're done. 
I would flip. I think that this would be that would be an amazing twist to this arc. I think it would be, and I think that's of what importance episode 108 has because, like I did in my review, uh, someone mentioned 108, the last episode before the special. You know what I mean? We talked about it too here, how it can lead up to the special. For all we know, episode 108 could be of like great importance. You know what I mean? Leading up into how things are handled with Goku versus Jared and moving forward. You know what I mean? And having the whole confrontation with the Ardradian, Frost, Frieza, and Gohan, all characters of different universes, you know? That would be really cool to see how that moves forward. I think this could be a episode that uh, just kind of shapes the tournament, similar to how Kel did. I think it would be cool to see uh, this actually shape everything, and this could actually be like, like a sleeper episode. It could be really, really important, and I would actually like that because Gohan, the Ardradian, you know what I mean? They need to have you know episodes that are like this because I do feel like the Ardradian so far has been a bit of a waste. So to see him actually in this episode and to see how things go, see how everything plays out for the full 25 minutes, yeah, I'm on with you, bro. I think that would be cool. Make it a free-for-all, last man standing, at killing. That would be crazy because one thing people got to remember is, yeah, 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 Universe 7, there's no stakes, right? There's, you know, this is an in-between quill. <laughs> You know what I mean? This isn't a sequel. But people got to remember, the other universes, we don't know jack stuff about them. So if someone dies, we don't know if they're getting wished back. You know what I mean? So there are stakes for those other fighters. You know, you know what I mean? We don't know if, like, depends on how the wish at the end of this arc is, you know, uh, stated or recited. But some of these characters may not get wished back. You know what I mean? Just look at how this show is handled. Like, for example, the people hits killed. Those mob people were never wished back. Those were legit people that died in this show and were never brought back, you know? So, again, I'm just saying, even though Universe 7 doesn't have any stakes, adding killing and all that, that could be very beneficial to adding tension to this show, especially for the other universes. And one of the things that would also do is help establish that little interaction that we got and a lot of speculation from the community about Frost and Freeze's interaction and what does that necessarily mean for the future of the tournament. Because before there is a potential free-for-all type of fight and you can make your own alliances as you will it didn't necessarily make a lot of sense they would be fighting against their own teams but this way they wouldn't necessarily be fighting against their own teams they would be fighting between themselves and then they would basically be well we'll duke it out amongst ourselves at the end just to kind of see who's reign supreme you know that seems like a decision or a deal that one of the, either of the frost or frieza characters would definitely make because they're kind of one and the same but at the same time frieza knows that he has the advantage in his golden form and he hasn't shown it yet so it's just really there's so much potential in this and i have to say i think that would make the tournament of power far more exciting than it actually has been not that it hasn't been but it'd be really interesting Oh yeah, definitely. Also, I want to throw this in here before we get out of here. Is uh, I want to I have to paint a picture. It's been it's been <laughs> way too long. I have to paint a picture. So you brought up the whole Frieza and Frost stuff, and how Frieza was they like, walking away. Could that be a sign? Are they hinting? Is the preview trying to give us a hint that Frost will betray Frieza? Who knows? But I just wanted to say if that were to happen. How epic would it be to get like this confrontation, you know, a verbal boxing match, you will, you know, where Frieza kind of just buries Frost in terms of words, you know, puts them down and Frost is like, you know, yeah, OK. And when Frieza's walking away, Frost is charging up that key blast like you mentioned, and he points it to his back and he's getting and it's like doing what he did to Roshi. Remember with the little uh, that like laser pointer thing It's kind of hitting the back of Frieza's mm -hmm. head and Frieza goes. Hmm. Do you have an evolution further than the one you are right now? You know, something like that. And then Frost is like, yeah, he goes, huh? And then the beam stops and then Frieza turns around and he's like, let me show you. Yeah, with that real ugly smirk, you know, laughing, kind of like um, <laughs> a maniac type of the situation, right? And he goes golden. He got that god of music, you know, just playing in the background. And then Frost kind of like, is like freaking out. Like he stumbles and he falls backwards and Frieza is walking up to him. And then Frieza points out, like he puts his finger out and he's like, and you're supposed to be the universe six me. Hmm. And then she just shoots a death beam, bro. I think that would be really, really epic if there ever were to, like, break up, you know, and actually go the different ways. I think that would be a really cool way to do it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that would actually be really interesting to do, last picture, I promise people, but we're having a lot of fun with this conversation. <laughs> it's a really cool concept. Okay, so one of the things they actually could do is the... Okay, 
how would I state this? So one of the things we saw in the Dragon Ball Heroes opening or one of the things that they animated movies they did, you, you've talked about this on my channel before, how they have Goku and Frieza fighting Jiren. It would be really interesting. And one of the things that we were, we've been talking about ever since Frieza was announced to be on Universe 17 was what if Goku and Frieza actually decide to team up for good? That's something we all want to see. And this would be something we like, this would be great. This would even be better than Frieza on Universe 7's team because Frieza actually has a choice then. Because Frieza, Frieza wants the wish, right? And it would make sense that the last person standing who wins it for their universe is actually the one who gets the wish. But Frieza has to team up with Goku in order to even fight Jiren in the end. Oh, that would be... That would be so amazing in my opinion because it would it would it wouldn't be forced this wouldn't be forced it would be kind of it the enemy of my enemy is my friend type of thing or something you know mm. like oh that'd be great it's like the whole thing with frieza in this tournament and i love that a lot i really do love him kind of saying you know if i want that wish i'm gonna have to fight alongside these guys or you know goku to be exact to fight that guy you know but the one thing i was gonna point out was the whole I'm really looking forward to the reactions of Frieza. That's one of the things I really hope the writers take into account in the animators as well, is the reactions that Frieza gives off. Because for one, Frieza, I don't think, knows about the Kaioken on top of the blue form. He knows of the Kaioken technique, but was it ever really hinted that he knew what that was? Because he, it, during it, when it did the flashback to how he did his mental training, he was only focusing on Goku Blue and base Goku. You know what I mean? He wasn't focusing on anything else. So for him to see the blue form in the Kaioken, <laughs> that would be funny. But then to see like Jiren, Raffle Stomp, Goku Blue, like what was his reaction be to that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's... I I think he would I think he would absolutely hate it because he realizes there's something about him. I mean, as much as much confidence as Frieza has in himself, he's fought in that form of Goku before and he realizes there has to be a point where he realizes that what Goku is going to bring out is going to be stronger than what he fought before so he's going to lose confidence and then seeing Jiren take out Goku probably easily or even just having a little bit of trouble is going to probably make him mad. Frieza's the type of character who would get pouty if someone were to challenge him in that particular way so it, it who really knows but like you're right they really need to take advantage of Frieza in this the upcoming episodes definitely yeah but I, I think we've talked for a while here <laughs> we have we have guys so i hope you really enjoyed the video i don't even know what i'm going to call this but obviously uh we kind of little we got a little bit off track but like you like we said this one little shot could either be taken completely out of context or it could be a small hint of something really epic to come and hopefully we're gonna learn we only have a couple days to wait guys we only have a real a couple days to wait but hopefully they don't let us down hopefully there is some kind of importance to this particular shot that they're showing in the preview but with that being said i want everyone to go down to the description section below hit that link and go subscribe to mj's channel guy makes some really awesome content you're not going to want to miss anything over there some really awesome dragon ball discussions if you like what i put on here you're going to love what he puts on his channel anyway Guys, I want everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button. It's going to notify you every single time I upload. And with that being said, guys, we hope everyone has a good day. It's been real.